Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm gonna to be doing a spec comparison between the new Samsung Galaxy J7 Star and the Samsung Galaxy A6. We're gonna put them side by side and see which one has the better specs. Now starting with software, they're both gonna come with um, Android 8.0 Oreo, same version. Screen wise, um, we have a 5.5 inch HD TFT display on the J7 Star versus a 5.6 inch display, super AMOLED screen, 18 by nine ratio on the A6. So to break that down, you are getting a slightly extra large, a slightly larger screen on the A6, um, but these two phones have different aspect ratios. Um, just to go back here, um, the J7 Star does have a uh, 16 by nine ratio and the A6 has an 18 by nine, which means that it's a longer, it's a taller phone, and the J7 Star is a wider phone. So just wanted to point that out. Um, the A6 looks a lot closer to how the S9 looks. That's what the 18 by nine ratio is, which is it stands taller versus uh, it's not as wide. So just keep that in mind. If you're going for that more premium S9 look, the A6, um, again, has a, longer screen at the top j7 has a wider screen so i just want to point that out so it does take in that category also screen wise you are getting a much better screen on the a6 so super amoled is the same screen that i believe either the s5 or the s6 had so it's one of samsung's more premium screens so it is brighter more vibrant um, so if you're like an hd video person you're gonna want that super AMOLED screen versus just the HD TFT display that's on the J7 Star. All right, going into camera, no comparison. The A6 does have a 16 megapixel front and rear camera. It also has a 1.7 f-stop on the rear camera. So this phone is actually really good for taking low light pictures at night. Um, so if camera is a big focus for you, then the A6 camera is a little bit more impressive than the J7 Star. Uh, they both do also have a front flash as well, so that's kind of a tie there. Memory wise, they both advertise 32 gigs. Um, it varies slightly uh, in terms of how much memory you get after you subtract the operating system and pre-installed apps. The uh, Samsung Galaxy A6 does have slightly more memory, so it does have uh, 23.2 gigs available after the OS, whereas the J7 Star has 22.8. So it's a difference of like half a gig. So to be honest, that's not that big of a deal. And I think that's the only thing that's disappointing when you compare these two phones. The A6 for the price point, I expected it to have uh, double the memory at 64, um, but it doesn't. So that's kind of like the only con I have with the A6 is it needs more memory. But anyway, it does take it for the memory category. In terms of battery, they both um, have a non-removable battery. So it's a unibody design. You cannot take the battery out. Um, and you get a larger battery with the J7 Star. You get 3,300 milliamp versus only 3,000 on the A6. Processors are both gonna have an octa-core 1.6 gigahertz, but the A6 does have three gigs of RAM. So you are getting a little bit of a faster performance, better multitasking on the A6. In terms of extras, um, the A6, I hate to say it, blows the J7 out of the water. There's some very specific features the A6 has that you're not gonna find on your J7 Star. The first thing is gonna be fingerprint scanner, uh, facial recognition, um, as well as um, Bluetooth 5.0, which allows you to basically link up two Bluetooth devices at one time. Um, and you have compatibility with S Health. So with S Health, like you're able to, for example, uh, keep track of like all your fitness stats. You can also link up your smartwatch and you can tie in the performance of your watch with your S Health app. So um, you just get more. That's really the theme of the A6. Uh, it's a really thin, sort of like an S9 Junior. Doesn't have all the benefits of the S9, but it has a lot um, more than you're gonna find on the J7 Star. So ultimately guys, this has been our side-by-side -side comparison. These are the two new Samsung phones at Metro by T-Mobile or T-Mobile. And um, a lot of people are trying to decide which one should I get. 
and this is just sort of the spec breakdown. Now I want to point out something very important. So although the, the stat sheet is really stacked on one side, um, you have to really decide what's more important to you. Uh, some people, battery is more important. So if battery is more important, then you would go with the J7 Star. Um, also, because the A6 is considerably more expensive, um, it does cost you more to get it. So the tax is higher and um, you can't get it for free. Um, you can't get either for free, but the A6 is definitely gonna cost you more. So if you're on a budget, you've gotta really look through the spec sheet and see which features make the most sense to you and is it worth it to spend the extra on the A6. Um, if the specs align to what you're gonna use the phone for, then you gotta make the choice based on that. Anyway guys, I hope you did find that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Also subscribe to our new channel. You'll find on the next screen, green bubble, tech made easy for more awesome tech videos. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.